Warning, the following podcast contains language that will make Joe Pesci blush. Okay, so you get a bit of a bonus episode here because, well, I mean, this is, this podcast is supposed to be cathartic and for the most part it's been fairly sedated and scripted and there hasn't kind of been much catharsis going on, but um, that's going to change, at least with this one, because something came up that just couldn't wait. So I was on a walk today, well, this, I was on a walk tonight and... As usual, I get notifications that uh, Donald Trump has been tweeting again, and uh, I just decided to browse through them, and I come across this one. When you give a crazed, crying lowlife a break and give her a job at the White House, I guess it just didn't work out. Good work by General Kelly for quickly firing that dog. Yes, he just called a black woman a fucking dog. What the living fuck is going on here? I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm kind of at a bit of a loss for words. Like, the, is, is this racist? Is this misogynist? I don't know, but it's got to be something. There's got to be evidence there is something seriously, pathologically wrong with this man, with the entire administration. And, and, and someone pointed out the fact that he's just sort of, I'm just going to give this crazy woman a chance. I'm going to throw her in as my my advisory to the African-American community. Well, that's clearly someone who gives a shit, right? Yeah, not quite. But, I mean, for the most, I'm kind of at a loss for words, but I, I will say this. What is it about Donald Trump that so many people around him seem to feel compelled to record every single interaction they have with him? I mean, Omarosa aside, these are not people who... Are, a paranoid conspiracy theorist. We're talking about his attorney, Michael Cohen here. We're talking about James Comey, who at the time when he was recording his interactions with Donald Trump was the leader of the FBI. And what are these people afraid of? What are they so worried about where they feel that there is, where they feel it necessary, where the leader of the FBI feels it necessary to record interactions with Donald Trump? And I, I know that I know that a lot of people are carrying on about, oh, well, Omarosa recorded the, the conversation in the Situation Room. That's a huge security breach. And I kind of agree here. But the issue isn't, at large, the issue isn't that he doesn't need, like he shouldn't have to be in a situation where he needs to pat every single person down to make sure that they are not recording the conversations with him. He needs to be in a situation where he can trust them. And more importantly, they can trust him, the leader of the United States, the president. They need to be able to trust him enough to be able to think, I don't need to record every single action. In I don't need to record every single interaction that I have with this man because that takes effort. I mean, that space that you need on your phone it, to record every single conversation that you have with him surreptitiously. That takes effort. And these people have gone through the effort because they're worried. They are scared. What are they scared of? And should we be scared? And going back to the tweet, where he called an African-American woman a dog, then my answer to that would be, quite a lot. <laughs>